non-pharmacologic and lifestyle modifications in patients with headache. Headache is among the top 20 reasons for outpatient medical office visits, totaling over 12 million visits in 2009. Severe headache affects 22.7% of the U.S. population and is more common in women, both adult and adolescent. Although a great majority of the U.S. population suffers from headache, less than 15% of patients with migraine are seen by a neurologist. So, why focus on non-pharmacologic and lifestyle changes? There are several reasons. Polypharmacy continues to be an ongoing issue for patients today. Due to the potential for possible medication overuse headache and progression of migraine from episodic to chronic, safe, easily accessible, and effective headache prevention measures are important. Additionally, the financial cost of headache treatment continues to be a significant expenditure for patients. Chronic migraine patients in the U.S. average $4,000 annually in direct health care expenditures. Comparatively, non-pharmacologic and lifestyle changes are relatively low-cost and widely accessible. Nutraceutical and non-pharmacologic treatments are more commonly used than you might think. 82% of people who use nutraceuticals do not inform providers. Presently, this market is not regulated by any U.S. governmental agency. There are several options available, but which ones improve migraine symptoms and which ones do not? Riboflavin has been graded as level B evidence for efficacy in migraine prevention. One study found that 59% of subjects had 50% reduction of headaches after three months. However, this may only work in migraine patients with relatively decreased mitochondrial function. It is not recommended in children and can cause diarrhea, polyuria, and bright yellow urine. 400 mg is the recommended daily dose. CoQ10 has been given level C evidence. 48% of patients were found to have 50% fewer headache days in comparison to placebo. This can be used in children, and the recommended dose is 100 mg three times a day. Side effects are rare, but can include nausea, diarrhea, and dyspepsia. Magnesium has two separate, potentially beneficial uses. IV magnesium has level B evidence for treatment in acute migraine. It also has level B evidence as a preventative treatment. This has demonstrated decreased attack frequency, decreased number of headache days, and reduced symptomatic drug consumption. Magnesium, 400 to 600 mg every day, may have added benefit for the treatment of menstrual and classical migraine. Side effects include soft stool, diarrhea, and flushing. Lastly, feverfew has level B evidence for prevention. Studies are variable, but the most positive study found 4.76 fewer headache days compared to 1.9 fewer headache days when compared with placebo. Side effects are not well documented, but may include arthralgia and mouth ulcers. Melatonin and butter burr, while commonly used, are not recommended options for migraine prevention. Melatonin has level U evidence, and butter burr has been shown to cause liver toxicity. Now, on to lifestyle changes. Lifestyle changes have an invaluable role in treating migraine. Lack of physical activity correlates with more frequent headaches. Headaches are more frequent in patients with poor sleeping habits, lower physical activity, higher BMI, and a history of smoking and caffeine overuse. Lifestyle changes, including management of perceived stress and increased physical activity, may be effective to increase clinical response to headache treatment. Relaxation techniques such as progressive muscle relaxation, deep breathing techniques, and autogenic training can be utilized. Aerobic exercise for as little as 20 to 30 minutes four times per week can be effective in preventing headache. This is particularly noteworthy as there is increasing evidence of cardiovascular disease in women with migraine. The combination of stress-relieving techniques or aerobic exercise can be useful in reducing headache, both the frequency and the intensity of headache. In summary, focusing on lifestyle changes and incorporating the use of non-pharmacologic treatment has the potential to prevent headache and improve the quality of life for both episodic and chronic migraine patients. For more information on lifestyle modifications in patients with headache, including a randomized clinical trial, please see the course resources at aan.com slash view slash neurobytes.